What is up guys, COD Gameplay here, and welcome back to another episode of the Best in Class of Modern Warfare 3. In today's episode, we will be talking about the best handguns. Now before I get into that, I'd like to thank you guys so much for 1,000 likes on my previous video, and I'm going to set you guys a challenge again. Let's see if you guys can step up to the standards of 750 likes. We'll, we'll see if we can hit that, um, I'll try my best and hopefully you guys can contribute. But um, anyways, get into this video, the best handgun as you can see on the screen is in my opinion the Magnums. Now the Magnums are just such a sweet and beautiful gun, we've had them for a long time in Call of Duty and they've been a long time favorite as a secondary, but I still don't think that these are the best secondaries overall. But. But if you ever pick a handgun, Magnum is what I choose by far. The class that I'm going with today is the Magnum Akimbo. I have Scavenger, Hardline, Steady Aim, Set of Hand, Assassin, Dead Silence, and the uh, primary doesn't really matter. But you notice how I have Scavenger as my first perk, even though I have Specialist. Now, I never ever do this, but this is an exception. The reasoning, if you have an Akimbo gun, and you are going to be using that, like an Akimbo FMG9, Akimbo MP9, or especially the Akimbo handguns, what happens when you pick up a Scavenger packet is that you actually only pick up one magazine for the one gun. So you actually have to pick up two, two Scavenger packs, I'm sorry, to actually do one full clip of the akimbo so when you pick up a scavenger pack you only get six bullets instead of let's just say 12 of a full size of akimbo so that is a huge huge detriment to if you're going with akimbo the reason why i wanted akimbo this game is because i think it is probably the best when you're going with a magnums um it really gives it an extra damage boost and it only takes two bullets to kill someone as you can see right there so if you have magnums i definitely suggest going akimbos unless you uh, would like to go just like regular with tack knife if you have a sniper I go regular with tack knife with a sniper because I'll get a hit marker and I might want to snipe someone across the map let's just say with my magnum so I'll pull it out and I will just try one shot across the map kill them but what actually makes the magnum so beautiful is these statistics now the only pistol that will ever ever Catch up to the Magnum in the statistics of the in-game code MP412. So these almost have identical statistics, and if you really uh, like the MP412, I say go with that. Really, there isn't all that much of a difference other than the drop-off range, which the Magnum actually extends out. I believe it is uh, 250 meters more. But the clip size of a Magnum is 6 and then the damage is 49 to 17 also you have to keep in mind that there's a multiplier to the chest and head so you can have a two shot kill most of the time if you place your shots correctly and then the drop off is 500 to 1250 the rounds per minute is 750 so that means that uh, your cap rate of actually shooting the gun is 750 bullets per minute and then the time to kill is 0 0.160 seconds, reload time is 3 seconds, which is actually quite a bit on a uh, handgun. So that's the only real um, negative of this actual gun. Then the raise time is 0.55 seconds, and the move rate of this gun is obviously a 100%. Now what really separates the Magnum compared to the other handguns is the damage, the drop-off range, which extends the most by far out of any single pistol and then also I find that the rounds per minute is pretty nice so with combining all that together you make a pretty solid handgun the only detriment to this gun for sure is the clip size which is six so you can be coming uh, into contact with maybe three people like so and I will actually have to knife people instead because I you will not have enough clip size to kill multiple people at the same time so uh, that is the end of the video thank you guys for watching and uh, I will catch you guys later. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do give it a like, maybe a favorite, and uh, subscribe if you're new to my channel. But anyways, guys, have a great day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Oh, and by the way, if you guys are still here and you missed the last two episodes of the Best in Class of Modern Warfare 3, and you want to go check them out, click the annotation on the screen. One of them is the best pistol, and the other is the best LMG. I explain in-depth analysis of both the guns. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.